Oh my god! Okay, well I guess I'll fix that in a little bit. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play The Ghost Train. And I am really excited. This is, if you haven't seen it on my channel, I previously played a game called The Convenience Store. And I loved that game. It was a short, cheap horror experience. And what I, what I found so attractive about that game was how simple but relatable it was. And that was a game that had, well basically, you worked the night shift at a convenience store, and you'd go in every night, you'd work, creepy stuff would happen, and you'd come home, and the next night you'd do it again, over and over, and this whole thing kind of unfolded. It would be something simple, like you'd be working there, and the doors would just start acting weird on their own. Or maybe you'd have a weird customer who would come in, and it was just so simple, but so relatable, and so... Uh. And come to find out, the developer, Chillizart, actually has a ton of games all very cheap and seemingly with the same concept. This one is about commuting to work on the train. I don't know if it's a single person that develops these games or if it's a whole team, but I really like what they're doing. So I'm going to start a new game. Your current save will be deleted. Yeah, I started up before just to set up the recording. Yes. I picked up a few of these games in the sale. They're all currently on sale right now. They're, they range from like 2 to $3 each. All right, gender, male, occupation, insurance company, sales manager. Are you recording? It should be. You're not recording. Okay, GoPro wasn't recording. There you are. Okay, GoPro wasn't recording. Just wanted to make sure that was set up. And I can see that the resolution isn't correct here. It says 2560 by 1440, which is my native resolution, but it doesn't appear to be doing that correctly. Maybe if I set it to windowed mode? Mm -mm. Kinda? There we go. Okay. So I guess I'm just commuting to work. Take the down escalator. Oh wow, that is very, very, very bright. Ah, oh, but it's like my eyes adjusted. There's some time before I get on. I could use a little smoke break. Man, my throat's parched. I better get something. Also, my stomach would hurt around this time. I wouldn't want to hold it during the ride. The dialogue may be a little bit awkward. I'm assuming it's being translated from Japanese. The When I played the convenience store, it was, it, it was in English, but all the voiceovers were still in Japanese. Whoa. Oh, those are reflections on tile. I think the reflections might have been just a tad bit overdone there. Can I drink from the sink? Not that you'd really want to. These are some really nicely detailed environments. Now, I think a, th a common thing with all of the... I don't think I'm supposed to be in there. Then again, this is Japan. A common thing with all these games is they have that sort of degraded retro VHS look. This one doesn't seem to have it to the same extent that uh, that the convenience store did, but I know that is a thing in all of these developers' games. Okay, so these are beverages. Buy a drink? Sure, it's not my money. Okay, and now I need to get something to eat and a smoke break. Now I don't know if that means I'm gonna have to buy cigarettes. Oh, and I can't sprint either. I really want to take a moment to appreciate this ambiance. I have no idea how you get to the center platform, but I want to take a moment to appreciate this ambiance. That dull hum coming from the ceiling, that music playing through the speakers and it's all echoing off the tiles. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, is this a thing in Japan? Little, like, booths for smoking in underground? I guess that must be a thing. Okay, this is another drink machine. It doesn't look like I'm getting anything to eat at this time. So I guess I'm just gonna have my smoke break. Enter the smoke room? Yes. Oh, and I'm able to move in here. And there's my little puff puffs. I don't know what's gonna indicate to me that it's time to leave. But it seems pretty odd to me that there's nobody else here, and in fact... 
I'm getting quite a creepy feeling from this little booth here. It's almost like something's gonna appear inside with me at any time, and my pups of smoke are getting bigger and bigger. Exit, okay. So it'll prompt me when it's time to leave. Presumably I'll have to be on that routine every morning if it's anything like the convenience store. The convenience store did it... Did you... Maybe I'm mistaken. I could have sworn as I was exiting the booth... Oh, it's probably what that is. That weird graphical glitch happening with the shadows along the wall. I guess that's just the draw distance. I could have sworn I saw somebody leaning out of the tunnel over there. That was kind of odd. But yeah, something that the convenience store did that was really great was it took place over multiple nights. So you would get settled into the routine of, uh, of going about your business and your walk to the convenience store and... It all just made it... When you establish the routine in a game, it makes deviations from the routine all the more noticeable. You guys heard that, right? It's actually kind of disturbing. When you enter into the bathroom, the sounds of the music playing out on the platform kind of fade out. Nothing, Nothing's even happened yet in this game, and I already like it. Now, the last thing that my character mentioned was that my... I wasn't... Oh, it's me walking on this thing. <laughs> that scared me. The last thing he mentioned was his stomach rumbling around this time, so I don't know if I'm maybe supposed to... Looks like this is down only. Am I supposed to get food somewhere? Or am I just waiting for the train at this point? Oh, oh, that's what that meant. Okay, use the toilet. <laughs> here I was thinking I had to, uh... Here I was thinking I had to do the opposite. Okay. Oh, I'm just in the stall. Flush. And exit. I don't like that at all. I don't like how I'm going to have to be in the stall. If I'm in the stall, that's when you're quite vulnerable and you can't see any of what's going on around you. Okay, so I imagine my train should be arriving shortly because that's three things now. And here we come. I gotta say, it is weird, though, that there's nobody else on this platform. I can't imagine that's common in Japan. Any city large enough to have a subway system is not going to have only one person riding it in the morning, right? I got an achievement, Green Cicadas. And I have to Alt-Enter because the game actually kind of went a little weird there with regards to the resolution. I don't know if you guys could see that. You probably could, because I'm recording display instead of the application. Now, I have to get to my favorite seat. The corner of the second coach. Odd thing to have a preference about, but okay. Okay, so which way am I heading? Probably through here, right? Oh, hello. Oh, you scared me. She's the OL that always rides on the last train. I want to leave her alone, though. I'm tired. And I'm guessing she is as well. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to work or coming from work. But here's my seat. And it looks like I can continue to move up as well. So I can move between train cars and it's all one continuous area. Ah! Ah! What? Ooh. Yeah, exclamation mark, question mark. That's what I said. Didn't my stop just pass by? Or is it just my imagination? Maybe I can talk to someone to confirm it. Uh, okay, OL, oh, well, you're up. I don't remember if it said a name, so you're just OL oh, well, now. I don't even know what that stands for. Did you see what just happened? Yes, I did. But I can't bring my energy up to do anything about it. Well, good for you. And that was my stop. Now I have to take the taxi home. Shall I go talk to the conductor? 
How nice of her. And it's obvious she's exhausted from her overtime work. I can tell by her eyes. No, no, please. I can't let you do that. I'll go. You can stay here and rest. Okay. Well, let me know if there's anything I can help with. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go to the front and talk to the conductor. Only thing it... Don't like how you're looking at me. Don't like how you're looking at me at all. I mean, the train does what the train does. If you missed your stop, I feel like you just have to get off at the next stop. I don't know what the conductor is supposed to do about it. Why is... Are you the conductor? Why are you just standing at the end of the train wide stancing anyone that comes to complain? Can I lock myself in between cars? I can. Okay, from now on, that's my safety box. Alright, Mr. Conductor, what are we doing? What's that in your hand? Is that a cage of cicadas? Escaped? Bzzz. Three escaped. How? Bzzz. Look, I'm in a hurry. Could you please move aside? Escaped. Not in a very good mood. Bzzz. It's no good. He's not listening. Whatever it is, I better get what he wants. You really want me to do a cicada hunt in a train car before you'll move out of my friggin' way? Uh, well, I could... Uh, conductor! Can... Uh, okay. Okay. I see how it is. Found one of your bugs. Not a thanks, not a nothing. Now, are they only going to be confined to this car? Well, probably not, considering one of them was on my face. There's another one. Didn't even have an indicator, so I have a feeling the last one is going to be pretty tough to find. Here's your gross bug, dude. Ah, here we are. You are hiding. Okay. Guess I gotta walk you all the way back up to the front of the train now. Actually, come to think of it, it's probably going to have me walk up and down the length of this train a bunch of times over the course of this game. Perfect way to build up the anticipation for some jump scares. I don't trust you. So to my knowledge, there's four people on this train total right now. There's the OL, me, Crazy Cicada Man, and the Conductor, whom I've yet to speak with. There's your, there's your cicada. What's happening? Oh, you've stood aside. They didn't have an animation for that. Bzzz. Brown ones? Not in a very good mood. Okay, I would like to interact with you as little as possible, please. Mr. Conductor, I missed my spot like 15 minutes ago. Hey, do you need anything? Do I need anything? Yes, I want the train to stop on the next one, please. Who do I think I am? You forgot to stop on the previous one. Oh, is that right? I must have been spacing out. C can this happen? Like, is that a thing that can happen? I've never heard of this being the way that subways work. I apologize for the inconvenience. We will prepare you the compensation necessary for the mishap. Please leave your contact information here. Leave my contact information here. No, 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 no. I leave my con. I know how this works, right? I leave my contact information here. Next thing I know, I'm getting ads every week for curses. I don't have the time and energy to complain to the railway company. I'm just relieved that it wasn't anything serious. I'll let it pass this time. I don't look forward to tomorrow's work. What am I doing with my life? July 25th. Every scene transition, I have to press Alt Enter to fix the to fix the resolution. Okay, so it is like the convenience store. I'm settling into a routine. I guess I'm gonna do this over the course of multiple nights. So let me guess. I have to do the same thing, probably, right? Use the bathroom. Get a drink. 
take a smoke break. Right, so let's get a drink. It's always kind of baffling to me what requires a fade out versus what's actually an animation. And it has me very suspicious because in the convenience store there was a there was a little sort of mini door thing that separated the counter from the rest of the store. And that was a fade out and the only and the only reason that was a fade out was because the environment changed when you passed through it one time. So anything that requires a fade out, I am now highly suspicious of, such as entering the bathroom stall. Something's gonna, something's gonna peek over that stall at some point, mark my words. Flush. Exit. I absolutely guarantee something happens in here at some point. Now what's left? I just have to go take my smoke break. I just noticed something. There's no music playing on the speakers this time. There's just the hum of, I guess, the ventilation and the lights. That's eerie. Only been one night and I can already notice it instantly. See, that's what I love about this game. Sitting in this box, part of the morning routine, it's kind of spooky in there. There's some lights flickering across the way. It's really kind of spooky, and it... It reminds me of when I used to walk to the bus stop in the morning, and I'd have to walk down my street, and, you know, early on in the year, it would still be dark out. This rem These games remind me so much of that. And it scratches such an itch that... I feel like no other game can really do. No other developer has really touched on. Because a lot of other games, they feel the need to be about something. They want to give you your money's worth. They want to give you an eight-hour story. But what this developer has done is they've created this... They've created this chain of games that just seek to give you an experience. And in real life, that's most of what you... That's most of the creepy things that happen to you is just... Yeah, I was going about my routine and this weird thing happened. And that's what that's why I just respect this developer so much. Yeah, let's get on the train. I think I saw on the store page that this game also has auto saving. Which, I don't know if that means that it's longer, but it does mean that it doesn't all have to be done in one sitting, like, uh, like the convenience store did. Howdy, ma'am. She's here again. I'm not gonna lie. There's a part of me that's comforted, comforted by her always being there. Maybe I should talk to her. They're calling this to my attention now, so they can completely throw it on my head later. Uh, hey. Typically I wouldn't have the space to talk to anyone. But I feel that the ice between us have broken. I guess it's thanks to last night's incident. Hey. Did you make it home safe last night? Yeah, unfortunately. Why? If it's okay with me, I'm all ears. Thank you. But there's nothing to vent about at this point. It's too late. Hmm. I don't think there's anything late about talking to someone about their struggles. No! It's too late! I'm sorry. It's been tough. And I'd rather not talk about it. Please forgive me. Okay. Well, I'm sure you've seen me many times already, but I'm being really pushy here. I'm usually on this train at this time. So, uh... Okay. I'll keep in mind. I was kind of a jerk just there. She kind of made it clear that she didn't want to talk, and I was still talking after that. Take a seat? Yes. Ha! 
Hi. What's a little girl doing here? What's that in your hand? The kid shouldn't be roaming around the train this late. Daddy? I'm not your father. Hmm. Yeah, you look different. Hmm. Now you better go back to your dad. Oh, about that. I can't remember where daddy is. I was chasing a cicada I saw on the window. And now I'm too scared to go back alone. Mister? Could you please come with me to find Daddy? Either way, I can't let a kid be lost here alone. I guess I have no choice. Sure. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, mister. Don't like that I haven't seen your face yet. Okay. Hey, mister? What is it? There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Well, I think I'd forgotten how my dad looks like. How is that even possible? I think it's because he looks like any middle-aged guy. <laughs> okay. That's why I thought you were my daddy. Wow. Okay, kid. I think the only way is to talk to the ones that look like my dad. Okay. Wow. Okay, this kid's spitting fire. I don't like it. You following? Hey, you know this? You know this munchkin? Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? What? Don't know. Okay. Let's keep looking, shall we? There's a middle-aged guy. Excuse me. Would you like to buy this child? It's rare for such a young kid to be here alone. What's wrong with people these days? Well, good luck to you. I gotta say, I if this is how Japan is, and by all accounts it's the opposite, but if this is how Japan is, where each person can just have an entire subway carriage to themselves, I approve. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? No, I don't. I thought you were her father. I saw her sleeping next to you the wild, the wild time, I guess whole time. This is the strangest thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. You think I'm doing this because I want to? Okay, so... Hey, it's you. You're Dora the Explorer, I guess. Okay. So she was sleeping next to me. Before I fell asleep and when I woke up, the cicada was on my face. I think the moral of the story is don't fall asleep on trains. Okay, he's putting his finger between his eyes. I thought it was... Never mind. We're running out of subway cars. You better be your dad. Excuse me, do you know this girl? No. And don't talk to me. That can't be. Her father isn't even on the train. Could it be that he left her alone here? Um... I can't really sprint. I, you, I, t I took it as an insult, but I really am middle-aged. You need to slow it down for me. And every once in a while, I swear I hear like a weird groaning in my left ear. It might just be some kind of stress on the train, but... Okay, I saw you run through that door. Don't think I'm fooled. I know you were supposed to be past the edge of the draw distance by the time I saw that, but... Ugh. Okay, I guess we'll ask OL what's going on, see if she saw anything. I don't know if I was supposed to talk to everybody on the way here. I didn't know you were a father. No, I'm not. She's not my daughter. Is she related to you in any way? No. Why is she making that face? Probably because I was just chasing her down the train. What does that make you, then? I'm just a stranger. She mistook me for her father. She wants me to come with her to find him. Okay, I was concerned. What? No, I would never. Well, t from her perspective, this looks pretty bad. Not gonna lie. Where did she go? Okay, weird things just happened with the camera. 
Are those cicadas flying outside? I just realized that there's nobody here anymore. I can't see anybody else on the train anymore. And it kind of seems like that... It seems like the hiss of the cicadas is getting louder. This is getting weird. Oh my god! Oh, that was a dream too. That's my stop. What was all that? I'm probably too stressed. I can't even tell the difference from dreams and reality. July 26th. Well, I guess I might as well go down the line in order. Start with the bathroom. I'm still worriedly anticipating what's going to happen in here. It's not letting me flush. Okay, now it is. I feel like that flush is taking longer than usual. This whole... Those are footsteps. See how you like it. Alright, I guess all that's left now is drinks and smoke. And to reiterate what I said before, I am deeply suspicious of anything that causes a fade to black, because it if it's something simple, if it's something that shouldn't need it, Going off of my experience from the convenience store, it leads me to believe that they're going to use that transition to change things at some point. Enter the smoke room? Yes. I'm fairly certain they're going to do something with this as well. See, that light is still flickering. What was that? Oh, the light blew out. Finally, maybe now they'll get somebody down here to replace it. <laughs> Let's be real, no they won't. I gotta say, I do... I kind of like the subway. I kind of like subway rides. It's like $3 to anywhere. The only thing that sucks is that you're crammed in there like sardines. Alright. What unspeakable horrors await us on the ghost train. It seems like I can enter any car. And I'll just start off in the back every time. Once again, Alt-Enter. See, it's... If it wasn't so expensive, I would love to just get on the train at night 
and just ride just for this because I find this kind of thing that window just going out into blackness I find that so relaxing now I'm on Long Island one of these days that's what I want to do is take I don't even know if they run that late but just take the latest or earliest train I can out to Montauk the only problem is that it's like 20 bucks but when it runs along the north shore you're just going through woods for miles and miles and miles on on the south fork there's like nothing I mean none of this makes any sense unless you're local but on the south fork what I literally don't see what you're she's not here tonight oh yeah Come to think of it, I can't see anybody up ahead either. But anyway, as I was saying, I find these train rides, especially if there's nobody here, really relaxing. What is this? What is that? I can't even see what that is, and it gets too... Because of the way the shadows work, it gets too dark when I get... That sounded like a baby crying. You guys hear that right it's very very faint very subtle but i i can still come this way can i go back anymore no it doesn't seem like i can okay so what do i do then it didn't look like I could interact with whatever was on the seat. But I have to say, I don't like seeing little black bundles accompanied by baby noises. I guess I'm just going to take a seat right here. Yo, what is that? That's good. That's, you know, that's... Awesome. What's going on? A blackout? There's something wrong with this train. Okay, well, the lights went out on the train, but it seems like the lights turned on in the tunnel. There's something wrong with this train. What time is it? 2 a.m.? It's way past the usual arrival time. I have to talk to the conductor. I'm starting to become a right Karen. Okay, I really... Okay. It's kind of difficult to see. I don't like the look of this at all. The world's gone all Blade Runner. Or rather, it's gone more Willy Wonka Tunnel of Doom. Not to be confused with Temple of Doom. I swear I just heard like a scraping of a shoe to my left. And also, is it just me, or is the train itself making less noise than before? That could just be me. M Mr. Conductor? If you've seen my Gaming Phobias video, I mentioned that one of my biggest phobias in gaming is a long hallway. One of the variations that I discuss for how a long hallway scare can play out is that you walk to the end of a long hallway and find the door locked. You find the door locked because after walking through the hallway all this time and building this tension, something will be there when you turn around. Because you come to this locked door and you're forced to turn back on the expanse that you've had your back to for this entire time. Let's do it. Okay, egg on my face. But that just makes me confused now, to be honest. I have noticed this, and maybe it's like a good luck charm. Whenever I call a scare during a Let's Play, 
it never happens, no matter how telegraphed it is. And actually, now that I'm looking out, is there even a room in there? Okay, well, I guess there's nothing I can do but start walking back. Oh, it's just patterns on the glass. I could have sworn I saw, like, a person outside the window. I gotta say, the longer I walk around without really knowing what I'm supposed to do, the more uncomfortable I get, and... I'm not gonna lie, I am starting to get a little jumpy. Ah! What's wrong? What? Why would you do that? What's wrong? Can't you see that the train is acting weird? I tried the conductor room, but the door is locked. How can you stay so calm? What do you hear? What? I can help you only when you hear the voices of the natural world, even in the midst of crisis. Lady, I don't have time for your Deepak Chopra nonsense. So please, tell me. The other world tells me you're not hearing them right. Try again. Okay, this is going to be kind of annoying, because to be honest, all I hear is cicadas. Oh. It's by train car. There's a different sound in every train car. Or maybe the seaside? From the music, I'm going to say Summer Festival. Summer Festival, Cicadas. Temple Bell. Festival, Cicadas, Temple Bell. Seaside. Forest. The other world says you indeed hear the voices of the natural world. The other world has allowed me to call the helper. It should be here any second. No, don't call the helper. Don't call the helper. When you talk to the helper, the train should come to a halt. What if I don't want him to come to a halt right here? What are those boxes? They are my children. I'm just a lover of cats, you see. Um. Okay. Now, I notice that when I scroll, when I use the scroll wheel, I hear a ticking. So I don't know if there's any kind of inventory system or... Are you the helper? Mr. Miyagi, are you going to teach me to win the big karate tournament? Ah, it's like some kind of Asian Joe Biden. God. Okay, are you the helper? What are you talking about? Who are you? Wait a second. I know you. You were one of the troublemakers at my high school. Hi, you don't change. Mr. Shimizu, how nostalgic. He's the man who saved me from dropping out. Without him, I wouldn't be in such a position in my company today. But Mr. Shimizu, why are you out this late? Well, it's a hobby of mine to get on the last train ride before going to bed. Weirdo. He never changes. However, now's not the time for a reunion. Sir, this train isn't stopping for hours. And I'm afraid this train will never come to a stop. Is there anything I can do? Ah, uh, I understand. Okay, listen carefully, kid. You must get off the train before the train reaches the end. My destination is at the dead end, and trust me, you don't want to go there. There are three stops where you can get off at. However, you must choose the right one. 
There will be an announcement melody played on every stop. When you hear the same sound as the sound you heard on the home station, get off. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you later. So be careful, young one. I don't remember. It seems kind of unfair, considering the music only played on the first day. I'm gonna say no on this one. Maybe? I'm saying no. I'm assuming each of these is a different ending. Oh man, I'm gonna have to play through the entire game and get each of them, aren't I? Yeah, I can feel the hitch as each station loads in. I think this is it. Achievement unlocked. Echoic memory. I think you should be able to see that, but I read the achievements out anyway because I'm never sure if it's going to record those. August 6th. So this is some time later. A couple of weeks have passed. Oh, you weren't here before. Did I choose right? It doesn't seem like I can talk to you. Hmm. Looks like your card isn't readable. That's strange. It was working yesterday. Can you let me go this time? I don't want to miss my ride. Hold it right there. Don't you even try to get past. If your card isn't working, you better get the ticket. Can't you help me get a new card, though? No can do. You have to do that during the day. I can't help you at this time. Okay, so... Okay, so I can sprint, but only slightly. And that is a very loud sound effect for stepping on this escalator. Look at this, this cavernous space nobody in it all the stores are closed and I have to of course I have to come to this dark corner presumably buy a ticket yep see this is what I like about these games it creates this ambiance this fami I just thought I heard like Maybe footsteps, or... Almost like skittering, really. It is kind of difficult to articulate, but it's... So recognizable, and so... Simple. And I think that's why it's great. I mean... Horror games like Outlast are great and all. That guy's abandoned his post. A horror game like, say, Outlast. Yeah, it's scary. It's really scary, and those games certainly have their place. In fact, it's even understandable that they're the majority of games. But things like this, I feel like, are able to hit so much closer to home, even without doing as much on very little budget with a small team. Flickering is upstairs. Am I meant to make my way back up there and investigate? Well, it doesn't want me to buy a drink, so I guess that's... There's somebody up there. There's somebody up there, and now the lower light is flickering. Did I choose wrong? Have I chosen wrong? Kind of feels like I've chosen wrong. Oh, the 
base is dropping now. That rumble. Am I maybe meant to be going up the stairs to see what's up there? I don't like getting closer at all. Oh, it's standing buddy. Uh, but onto the topic at hand. Who are you? I'm starting to feel like I may not have a choice. It's the lady... It's the lady from the train. I could just barely make that out as I got close. It's the lady from the train who quizzed me. I'm on the train now. Can't open that door. No comment from me? I'm just waiting for something to happen. You want me to sit in my seat? That's really what I'm doing at this time. I find it very odd that my character doesn't have anything to say about this. After he's been so talkative up until this point. At the very least, you'd think by now I'd have learned better than to fall asleep on this train. Weird things happen when I fall asleep on this train. You've got to be kidding me. Not stopping again? This isn't funny anymore. You have nothing to say about everything that just went down. I'm amazed you ever got on the train again after the events of the other night. I can only assume that this train... Okay, so my thought right now. This train carries people to the afterlife. My old teacher or school administrator or whatever he's supposed to be died. That's why he's telling me you don't want to go to the end of where this train is going. He died and warned me that I had to get off. I'm going to be checking behind me periodically because I'm still waiting for them to pull that one on me. I can sprint a little bit, but it's such a pathetic sprint. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that was actually a thing in the convenience store. Oh. Okay, I can actually open the door to the conductor's cabin, but it's very, very dark. There's nobody here. Nobody's driving the train. Let me just close this right here. Oh, this door has a curtain on it, so I can't see outside of it. So I'm just going to close this one, then. I'm not falling for your tricks, game. Try operating the train. Yes, no. Hmm. Look, I don't see any other option, right? I really don't. Were this to happen to me in real life, I do not think I'd be so eager to say yes. train doesn't respond to anything I'm pressing. There's a keyhole. It looks like I need a key to operate it. You've, got, you, you, you've just gone and closed the secondary door anyway. That's what you've done. You've closed the second door anyway. Oh, that's alright, because it's locked. So I'm just trapped in here. Do I have to dig around for a key? Please don't do that! Am I criminally liable now that I touch the controls? I have to hope not. Once again. Don't like this. Yep. The floor is wet. With what I hope to God is water. There's like stuff hanging from the bars. And there's an effect just floating in the air here. I don't think that's supposed to be here. My God. This all reminds me of... Does anybody remember the Ghost Train episode of Hey Arnold? 
It's a lot like that, and they ended up at the, uh, at, like, the sulfur processing plant? Or sulfur mine? What is this? What is that? What is this? What am I holding? A pinwheel? What am I holding a pinwheel for? What do I need that for? I'm supposed to be on the lookout for a key. Wait. A cane? A pinwheel and a cane. Can I go back and pick up the pinwheel again? Will that be back? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so a pinwheel and a cane. I guess one belonged to the girl, the other belonged to the teacher. So what am I? I'm really interested to see where this is. And a bottle. Beer. Was this being held by... I'm not sure who this represents. Did the woman have it, maybe? Don't like that. Okay, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that in the least. Nope, nope, nope. Looking down. Looking down. Nope, 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 nope. You're not there. You're not there. Shoes. Those probably belong to the woman. The beer was maybe... Christ, I hope it's not the train conductor. Okay, that's really good sound design. Not saying I like it, though. Each of these is something that belonged to somebody that I met on the train. That tapping is growing more and more insistent that I pay attention to it. It stopped. If I go back, will it start again? Yep. Oh! the teacher. Alright, um, maybe it's... Okay, wait, I think, I think I might see what I have to do. Oh, I see, yes, okay, I have them all, I can switch between them in my inventory. I bet I have to assign each item to each person. Okay, so I have to go back and give him his cane. Oh, that is so creepy. Okay. Yes. Here you go. Place cane, yes. And that's placated the tapping. Okay, next car. Is there anybody else? Ugh. Okay, you, I'm not so sure about. I'm gonna assume it's the beer. I'm going to assume you're the beer. Will the other ones not appear before that? No, there's the woman. You're the sh... You're, okay, the shoe either belongs to you or the little girl, and I'm going to assume the pinwheel belongs to the girl. The shoes, yes. The man, who is plainly holding a bottle right there. So I suppose... I suppose the beer belongs to you? I don't remember you, to be honest. But what else? I feel like I must have missed the girl somewhere. Which I suppose makes sense. She is small. Okay, there's the little girl. And what looks to be the woman in black, maybe? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and place the pinwheel. Yes. But I must be missing something. I must be missing the object for the cicada man. Here you go. Now what? <laughs> Whoa.
What was that? You hear that, right? Sounds like there's something on the roof of the train. And now the sounds have just completely stopped. That's not good. In fact, it almost sounds like there's somebody walking up the back of the train car. Oh my god. Okay. i just seal myself in here. Oh, but I still haven't found the keys. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. It's knocking on the back door. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Are we at a station? Are we at a platform? Oh, oh my god. Achievement unlocked. Dead. Achievement unlocked. Dead. Oh, I am in control. Oh, I'm at the platform. Or a different platform. Is this my stop? Or... Well, judging by the old abandoned look and ethereal mist, I guess this is my stop one way or another. Yep, it's that kind of stop. How you doing, Mr. Shimmy? I mean, whatever. Looks like you made it. This isn't the place for you. You're gonna need a ride home. But I don't have a home. Don't worry. Just call home now. They should know where to pick you up. Call them now before you get lost in the tracks. How do I do that? find like a payphone or something or do or do I have to walk out that doesn't look like a good way to go and I kind of feel like I'm meant to make a choice here he said I don't want to get lost on the tracks feeling I'm doing the wrong thing. Is that a phone booth up ahead? And someone there. Nuts. Leaves. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was somebody crouched next to the booth. Getting real lost soul, Christopher. Ever wander the tracks vibes right now? This phone booth only accepts 10 and 100 yen coins. I have a 10 and a 50. Seems like I've only got one chance. Who do I call? He said call them. He 
He said call them. The station should be able to help me out. Thank you for calling. This is Torinoha Station. Yes, so I just got on the final ride to the Usagi Station. Thank you for using our service. Did you lose something? Oh. Oh, great. I don't know where I am. I just want to go home. I'm sorry, which station are you on right now? It's called, uh, Kisar Kisaragi? Kisaragi Station. Kisaragi, is it? Please wait a moment. Please hurry. To my surprise, she replied almost immediately. Oh, am I narrating now? I'm sorry. I couldn't find any station called Kisaragi. What? But I clearly saw the name! The phone hung up. Are you saying this station doesn't even exist? I'm in Kisaragi right now. There's no doubt about that. That station worker probably thinks it's a prank call or something. I have no change left. I guess I have no choice but to walk along the tracks. How long will this take? There have been several things so far that have felt like I was... There have been several things so far that felt like I was making a choice. I don't know. I think there are alternate endings, but I have no idea when I was making choices. Music has faded out. As has my vision. I'm just gonna walk right towards nowhere to go. Lost in the station. I take it that's one of the endings. Game by Chill is art. Okay. That was really, really good. I mean, I'm going to go see how difficult it's going to be for me to go and play the other endings. If I have to play through the entire game again, I'm not going to do it. Otherwise, I will try it out. I guess these are all supporters of the developer really really good i mean i spent a lot of time talking about how like in the convenience store it's very it's very simple very downplayed very subdued horror in familiar settings and things that a lot of people can relate to and that is how it gets its scares in and that's what makes it just scratch that certain itch that other games and especially triple a games don't really scratch now as for as for this one it did that for most of it, and then towards the end, it got a little crazier. Granted, the convenience store got crazy towards the end as well, but in this one, it really, really took a turn. But it worked. It did something that other games might do, where it took that whole supernatural route of, like, being cursed to walk the tracks, I guess, forever. But it did it in such a way, it built up to it in such a way that it felt a lot more earned. It felt like... I actually kind of felt the despair of the character because I had felt before like I was out, like... And I wasn't somebody who came here to accomplish some task, to fight the demons, to exercise the ghosts. I'm, I'm just a guy trying to go to and from work. And so... You actually feel the desire to just be out of this. When you're in that ghost train station at the end... You see him and by now you've kind of figured out like, okay, my teacher, like, I, I know he's dead. I know this is the afterlife. You see him, and you just... Be, I just kind of, like, felt like, oh, no. Like, because I knew what had happened, and I knew where I was, and... when it, The fact that it built up to that from after an hour of relative normalcy, it just made it land so much better. I feel like at some point I'm going to have to do a video basically explaining my love of these games, but I have two more in my library, so I guess I'll play those soon. I will... Before I stop the recording, I'll alt-tab out to Google what it'll take for me to get the other endings. 
Okay, so it seems that if I continue from the... If I continue, it should put me at the final chapter, and I think the only thing that decides my ending is the phone call. The train's leaving. All right, Mr. Biden Miyagi, looks like you made it. This isn't the place for you. You're gonna need a ride home. But I don't have a home, which is a strange piece of dialogue, really. Don't worry, just call home now. He told, he, stra he straight up told me to call home. They should know where to pick you up. Call them now before you get lost in the tracks. He straight up told me what to do and I went and Condemned my soul anyway. I'm such an idiot. This phone only accepts ten and hundred yen coins. I have hundred. I have ten and fifty. We are gonna call home. I know that no one would answer, but I have to follow what Mr. Shimizu told me. Yes. Hello. What? I can't believe someone answered. Who could it be? What is this, Lost Highway? Um, hello? Who is this? This voice. I know this voice. There's no doubt about it. It's my wife. How could this be? I called this number many times, hoping that someone would answer. But no one ever would. Um, excuse me? I should hurry. I only got a few seconds until my minute is up. Eiko, when did you come home? I've been looking for you ever since you left. It's hard holding back my tears. However, now is not the time. Kensuke, where are you? K Kisaragi, I'm at Kisaragi. Kisaragi Station? No, don't tell me. What do you mean? What did I do? So, you too. I know exactly where you are. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. I was told to stay here. I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Okay, so I looked up, I just looked over at the guide and it says you do have to follow the tracks to see what happens. I told me to wait here. Game literally told me to wait here. There, that's gotta be her. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was my wife's car. She hasn't changed. I took her into my arms and cried. I'm glad, she whispered, patting my back. I held her hand and got into the car. You're here too early, she said as we were driving. I didn't know what she meant by that, but that didn't matter. All that mattered was that I got to see her again. We didn't have much of a conversation during the ride. There was so much to ask, yet there wasn't much to be said. I was happy enough to have her presence next to me, and rather soon we arrived at my place. She dropped me off and unlocked the door to my apartment, and just as I looked back, excited to invite her in, she was gone. Without making a single sound, she had disappeared. Today I live a normal life as a salary man again, wondering every night if I'll ever be able to meet my wife again.
there were a lot of times where it kind of felt like I was making decisions that would affect things. Like when I had to decide which station to get off at. And the guide says that... So when I got killed on the train, apparently that doesn't have to happen. Apparently I'm supposed to run away and it's possible to escape. So I don't know if there's other endings besides that. The guide only lists the two, where you call, whether you call home or not. But I don't know if there's more to it. Unfortunately, I don't think I can go back any farther than the state than that last station without replaying it. But I think we got a pretty good experience there. That was, you know, I already gave my outro before, but that was really good. That was really, really good. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.